The eight annual Heads of Immigration Forum kicked off on Monday at the Sadao de Kerabajawara International Conference Center in Bijilo. This annual event gathers heads of immigration services from the ECOWAS region to address and seek solutions to emerging challenges surrounding mobility and migration within the bloc. The theme for this year is Accelerating the Development of ECOWAS National Biometric Identity Card and Abolition of 90-Day Stay Limits. As the host nation, the Director General of the Gambia Immigration Department, Ibrahim Mbo, expressed pride in the Gambia's stride towards implementing the 1975 ECOWAS Treaty and its associated protocols. This forum centered around the theme acceleration of deployment of the ECOWAS National Biometric Identity Card, NBIC, and the abolition of the 90-day stay limit, that is residence permits for community citizens, provides us with an exceptional platform for community citizens to address the critical issues surrounding free movement of our community members, challenges and migration governance in the region. As we converge here today, we are not only reaffirming our collective commitment to the principles of regional integration, but also recognizing the vital role immigrations play in fostering socioeconomic development across, within, and among ECOWAS. The chairperson of the ECOWAS Heads of Immigration Forum and Controller General of Nigeria highlighted that the ECOWAS Common Approach threatens national mechanism in tackling cross-border issues such as policy harmonization, irregular migration, and the protection of migrants and refugee rights. Technically and professionally, we're all gathered here as co-pilots in the sustained drive to foster greater regional integration devoid of any encumbrance to free movement, residence, and establishment that should be the hallmark of policy practice nexus for ECOWAS as a regional body. Therefore, the theme of this annual meeting, acceleration of the implementation of the ECOWAS National Biometric Identity Card, and the abolition of the 90-day stay limit or residence permit for community citizens becomes very apt in the realization of this key deliverable. We are reminded that the ambition to implement free movement had existed in the ECOWAS undertaken when the abolition of obstacles to the free movement of persons, goods and services was first identified in the 1975 formation stage. The director of free movement at ECHO was urged the forum to consider strategies to address labor migration, emphasizing its growing importance in regional discourse. There's something we also saw. It's about labor migration. These are things we also need to start thinking about. Also, let us use this platform that we have to make a concerted effort in terms of implementation. Various member states are different levels of implementation, but then what we need is the harmonization of what we all agree here, the decisions we make and we take, and also this is what we use in escalating to the ministers in charge of immigration management or immigration services. And that is what we would also use in terms of escalating that to the ministers of, uh, well, we call it Council of, uh, Council of Ministers. Those decisions we make here, quite sensitive, but let us be as truthful as possible to ourselves, and let's see what the challenges are the Gambia's Minister of Public Service, Bubakar Boy, highlighted the country's commitment to the protocol on the free movement of persons, adding this year's theme is both timely and relevant to the region's current needs. The theme of this year's forum could not be more timely. The ECOWAS National Biometric Identity Card 
represents more than a document. It symbolizes a step towards the realization of true regional citizenship, where our citizens can move freely, seek opportunities, and contribute to the development of our region, as was um, amply demonstrated um, through that video we saw earlier. The Gambia remains fully committed to accelerating the deployment of NBIC and ensuring that the protocols on the free movement of persons, residents, and establishment are upheld and respected. In this regard, I would like to reaffirm the government of the Gambia's unwavering commitment to supporting the Gambia Immigration Department in its mandate. We recognize that for the GID to fully comply with the ECOWAS protocols, it must be equipped with the necessary tools, infrastructure, and skilled personnel. Since its inception, the Heads of Immigration Forum has played a crucial role in uniting senior officials from across the region to address migration and border management challenges. The forum serves as an essential platform for harmonizing policies, tackling mobility concerns, and advancing the full implementation of the Free Movement Protocol. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Mamingom.